Mick crashes at the end of an FP1 session in Japan, which can possibly be a career-ending mistake, and I'll explain why. After weeks of speculation, we now know that Pierre Gasly will be driving for Alpine and that Nick DeVries will be driving for Alpha Tauri. This really wasn't a surprise since we knew that Red Bull was open to the idea of letting Pierre Gasly go. At one point, Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko claimed that they would release Pierre Gasly from his contract if they were able to sign Colton Herta. This became an issue when Colton Herta's super license exemption was rejected, but now we know that Nick DeVries' performance at Monza was enough for Red Bull to sign him. Now this only leaves Mick with two options for 2023. It seems like the relationship between Mick and Haas has soured and that the team is possibly looking for other options for 2023. Although he has had great races, it seems like he makes a lot of mistakes too. Gunther Steiner, the team principal for Haas, has claimed in multiple interviews that Mick has cost the team millions of dollars. And in a season where the budget cap is extremely important, this doesn't really help the team. When we look at the beginning of the season, Mick was not performing at all and his teammate was scoring all the points for the team. But Mick has shown performance. When we look at Austria, he beat his teammate convincingly. I think the problem with Mick is that the performance of the car has decreased dramatically. When we look at the beginning of the season, the Haas was probably a top 5 team and now it's probably one of the worst in the grid. A great example is if we look at the race results since Austria. Mick has finished higher 5 out of the last 8 races. Mick has shown that he has potential, just that the car isn't there. The problem is that Mick also makes big mistakes. The most recent example is an FP1 of the Japanese Grand Prix weekend. After the session had ended, Mick put the car in the wall, not only costing the team some running during FP2, but also has had to do a precautionary chassis change. Steiner looked visibly upset after the accident. In interviews, he claimed that the accident was disappointing and frustrating. In my opinion, I think it's these type of mistakes that prevent Haas from signing Mick. The question now is, will they sign him? And if they don't sign him, where can Mick possibly go? Like we mentioned earlier, there is only two seats left in the grid, since now we know that the GOAT, Latifi, will not be racing for Williams next year. But the favorite for the Williams seat is Logan Sargent. It's assumed that the only reason he hasn't been officially announced for the team is that he doesn't have enough super license points at the moment. Unlike Colton Herta, it's expected that he will have enough super license points by the end of the year. There were some suggestions that Daniel Ricciardo could possibly race for Haas next year, but now we know that that isn't true since he has announced that he most likely will not be on the grid for 2023. So this really only leaves two options for Haas, which would be Mick and Nico Hülkenberg. In the last few appearances that Nico has done, he has shown that he still has it. And during his last few years in Formula 1, he was known as being consistent. At the moment, everything points to Mick staying at Haas, but I guess we'll wait and see. Let me know if you think Mick will be on the grid next year and if people are too hard on Mick. If you want to know why Colton Herta was not able to be on the grid for 2023, click right here and I'll see you later.